Hey, hello, Emily. This was an amazing job. You are almost done. You can see already all the patterns in, in your three movies. You label the access uh, mm -mm. in the right way. You can start working with your lab partner. One thing that I found is that uh, here, if you see, this graph look very weird. And um, we can fix it very easily. I found that, for example, if you click here, um, it, it shows that that here there is uh, is has a forty nine here, and when I checked that, I just realized that I made a mistake. It was my mistake. Sorry about it. If you double click here, is because it's taking the average of all this. You know, it's taking into the average all the it should go up to here yeah so let me show you to fix this to go and check in all the movies this I think hopefully it only happened here but it's very easy to fix you double click here and it has to go from cell 1 to cell 5 yeah and you can do you see you can drag this Um, now it has the the right the the right average because it's four three four yeah yeah so it should be this value and this one let's check this one too okay I double click here this is this is the right one is from Z two yeah so it was just that one and now look your the graph uh, look better still we don't need this point and later we can fix this next time I can fix this I can show you how to do it um, but it, but this this is the graph the graph that they have been talking uh, yes yeah uh, later I fix this I, I show you how to do it. Just check those things. That is in in uh, that uh, in all the movies. There is another problem that I saw in one of your in in one of your data uh, data points. I think it was in this one. That it was not your fault again. There is just so much data that uh, that. Uh, Sometimes uh, I it's hard to tell. And here, this data has one problem. If you see, it's like the cell disappeared and came back. Yeah. And so when you go to this one, is this point. Uh, um. If it's zero point that is too small, and if I go to the cell number five, here is the point. It seems that the person that measured this uh, just made a mistake here. If you want, you can just take that data point, and right now, um, uh, here it is again. Uh, last time we have it in the here, you can just remove it right now, and uh, later we see how how we fix it. But right now, this is a more realistic graph than than the previous one. Uh, uh, here we can check the average. Yes, this looks mm, right. Yes. So Emily, the Sorry for talking for so long. It was just a uh, so main idea. Go and check that all your graph makes sense. If you see something that go to zero, check well. Uh, check uh, if there is a problem. You can tell me, and I can tell you what to do. Uh, right now, remove those data points, and later we can see if we can and um, how we recover them. I can maybe go and open the image and and tell you the size. 
go and please check that this ever that the average in all your movies is the right one and the standard and deviation it goes from cell one to cell five and if you have any other problem let me know and you can start analyzing your data what it means that the cells are just bouncing and how different are from the cell area and this is right now everything and but later in the class we can talk so you can start analyzing the why and what are your the implications that the of this graph from from for you for the cell width and the cell height okay uh, if you have any more questions just let me know